is the Cranky Crafter here and it's also hashtag time. So welcome to hashtag August Art and um, the theme is all about animals and it's so exciting. Um, so make sure you come and join in the fun and watch all the videos. All you have to do is put the hashtag, hashtag August August Art into the search bar and you can also use another hashtag in whatever media you want to search for i.e. hashtag August Art, hashtag painting or mixed media or card making or there are so many different categories but if you want to single certain categories out after you've put in the hashtag August Art then just put in the hashtag and whatever you want to sort out uh, watch. Now what am I going to do for today? Well I'm going to be doing an iCAD which is um, an index card and because this is my first video I'm keeping it simple. People she says keeping it simple uh, and no not like me I'm not simple. <laughs> Crazy and cranky but not simple. Right now I'm because um, all the art that we're going to be doing is to do with animals um, I'm going to create this iCAD um, well you'll see as it goes along so um, what I'm going to use I want some orange paint and I want some black paint so I'm going to put a little bit in orange a set might be a bit more than that yep yeah and um, I'm also going to mix it with a little bit of this orange just to give it a little bit more that's it just mix the two together not too much and then I also want some black paints this is where I get covered in black paint well, that's probably too much in there but never mind I'll use it up on something else so here we go now I get my paintbrush and I've not gessoed this um, because it is only an iCAD and um, people um, I'm going to put another because they're quite flimsy these iCADs so I'm going to put once I've finished because you know when you do these things they get like messy on the back so I like to put another one because they're so cheap uh, on the back after I finish creating and it makes it all nice and clean then so let's start and we're going to cover this whole um, iCAD in um, orange can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> I shouldn't really say that anymore should we Mr Rolf Harris the bad boy right there we go sit and we give that a dry close your ears peeps dry enough anyway so there we have our base now um, put that in the water now we're going to do some markings in the black now as you can tell what it is now we're going to do one here which comes down and round like that and then one that goes up and joins like so and then we're going to do another one over here very similar let's go this way That's it. and then just do some markings can you do what it is you Mm 
<laughs> Put one here. Now, I hope you're all going to join in the fun. And if you're interested in um, doing, if you are a um, creator of any arts, even if it's like knitting or crochet, um, all arts and everything are included. Um, then check out Facebook. Um, what is it? Uh, I can never get this right. Creative Arts Collaboration. Yeah, I think that's it. So if you put that in the search bar on um, Facebook, then you oh that dipped that in the orange then. <laughs> then um, you should find us. Um, and there's over 300 creators on there now um, because this is going to be a hashtag that's on um, every month it'll be different themes um, every month so come and join us right I think that's I think that's enough yeah I think that's enough. Well, I might put one in there, maybe. Small one in there. Yeah, that'll do. Right. She says that'll do. So, are we going to give it a quick blast? And just dry that off. I don't actually make a lot of process. Um, videos. I hope you can hear what I'm saying um, because normally I'm all fingers and thumbs and everything goes wrong um, and you all have a good laugh at me I know that but you know oops. so what we've created is a tiger pattern as if you couldn't guess <laughs> simple and easy because I don't do difficult <laughs> let's give this a bit of a clean up well I'm looking forward to seeing Clive's videos because he'd be painting an elephant um, in three different stages so I definitely want to be having a go at that um, that's Clive Five's art or Clive Five Art here on YouTube yeah he's doing lessons so you'll be able to catch him pop along and have give him a look, look. Um, Cinnamon Cooney I know he's doing some black light painting um, I believe so that would be fun to watch. Um, Anne Marie, the lovely Annie XH, uh, yeah, Annie XHX is um, going to be doing some photo manipulation, um, which sounds really um, intriguing. I must have a go and have a look at that. Uh, and then there's all sorts going on. So, right, so now we have our card. Um, she says, look. <laughs> it's not dry. Oh, see, I told you, if, you know, when you're filming, it's bound to go wrong at some point. Mm. Now. Right. Um, fingers crossed it's dry now. Looks it doesn't matter anyway. Come off on the hand. Let's take that off because I'm not gonna get. Look at my hand. Look. That do right. So now I've decided after I've created this animal print that I was going to put a quote on um, on here. Oh no! Look, that's got a funny colour now. So I'd already stamped it out and the reason I stamped it out was because it's quite a long quote and I thought you didn't really want to sit there and watch me stamp it and cut it all out. It would have been boring. 
and my video would have been really really long and you, no one wants a you know you don't really want a really really long video so I'm just going to trim these up because that's a bit Sorry, I know I'm out of frame. Right, so I'm just going to stick my quote down onto here like that. Um, so just put a little bit of glue on the back. My. My. Tiger. My tiger. Stripes. And right, so we've got a quote on there now, and um, just clean up some of the glue. And it says, um, so is that back to front? My tiger stripes are well earned. So, um and if you're a woman, then you will understand that. Um, so now I'm gonna, just going to get hold of my um, pen, which is a Faber-Castell Pit Pen um, Black. And I'm just going to go all round the edge and just give it a little bit of a border because I like that. It makes, makes the whole thing stand out. So just going to... And you don't have to be completely like, oh, I've got to get this spot on, because you don't. You just have to give it a little bit of a border. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is art, and it's your creation. And, like, no one wants to see something perfect. Perfect is computer-made or, um, you know, it's not handmade. These are handmade... Um, projects and creations you know and if it's a little bit not perfect then it more the better for me so just go round here like that and then we're just going to go round the um, words as well with it Just to give them a little bit more definition. I wish I could learn how to do these videos where you like fast forward the boring bits. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, you just have to put up with me talking to you, won't you? Hope you can see, peeps, what I'm doing. I'm just going around each one. And I'm not being, again, I'm not being particular about how I do it. I'm just giving it a little bit of a border. all the way around now if you do one of these you know you don't have to do the same quote I just use this because like well I like the quote and um, I thought it's quite meaningful so 
when I use quotes, I've, I like to use quotes that are meaningful. So I'll send a message, really, telling somebody they are they are beautiful no matter what. So there we have it. There is our iCAD. All done. My tiger stripes are well earned. And then what I'm going to do, because obviously there's like mus mess on the back where did I put the other one um here so I'm just going to glue another one on the back um to tidy it up and it also makes it a lot sturdier make sure when you do this you get all the edges because you uh and I do prefer to use wet glue because if I mess it up and get it in the wrong place, then you, which I usually do, then you got a chance to move it around. And what they call wiggle root time, wiggle room. There we go. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. And a little bit of glue there. Right. So let's have a look. Yes, it goes that way. So it goes that way. But do you know what? I did mine upside down. Well, that's typical, isn't it? So, this is a good way <laughs> to cover up your mistakes. Because if I turn that over, it should be up that way. This is a good way to cover up your mistakes. Because I am going to put another one on. So, I can put this one up the right way. And no one will ever know. Except for the whole of YouTube. That I did it wrong. And there we go. And like I said, you do have a little bit of wiggle room. Stick that down. If you've got a brayer, you can use a brayer. And I have got a little bit over. So I'm going to just snip that off. There you go. Oops, there we have it. And there we have our finished iCAD. Perfect. So, and on the back, it's all neat and tidy and ready to be written on. Um, if you want to send it to someone and write an inspiring, give somebody an, an inspiring quote, and um, you know, you can put it on the back. So that's my eye code. I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, I hope you check out everybody else's video. Don't forget, it's hashtag Paulgust Art. P A W. No, yeah, uh, yeah. P A W G U S T. Art. And I hope I've spelled that wrong, otherwise, I'm in big trouble. But you get the gist. Hashtag Paul Gustart. Um, so bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Enjoy this these three days.